Okay. okay. Whenever you're ready. It's good to go. Hello, welcome to the stress management workshop. My name is Daniel. And my name is Isabella. And we're just going to kind of overview our stress management workshop and just recap uh, some of the things uh, that were processed for you guys. Um, so stress comes in various different forms. So um, as you can see in the memes, it's like two different situations of like stressful moments and just uh, things that are not something everybody wants to deal with. So I know some stressors I have is obviously school, you know, tests, trying to meet deadlines, um, things like that. Isabel, do you want to share any? Yeah, I mean, personal relationships and stuff can cause some stress too. School is definitely a major one, however. Yes, there's just a lot of various things that can cause stress or people that can cause stress, things that you do that can cause you stress later. So stress is just an over like encompassing thing, but we're going to teach you how to manage some of that. So stress management, some ways I personally decide to handle stress is through exercise. I work out when I'm feeling stressed out and that always seems to help. And um, I also journal, which I find helps a lot when I'm trying to you know, process my thoughts. Do you have any you'd like to share, Daniel? Um, I typically like listen to music that always helps me de-stress. Um, I like to journal as well. Um, and then just taking breaks, like, you know, if I'm stressed out because of an essay or something, just like taking a break to eat or just relax, just be on my phone, whatever, and just kind of unwind for a little bit. Yeah, power naps are also a really good way to go about this too. Um, so here are some different uh, stress management tips and ideas that we came up in the workshop with um, some of the students, you know, it's like making to-do lists, see so if you have yoga, um, exercise, calling friends, playing a game, uh, reading, cleaning, paint, painting. So these are all just various ways to kind of de-stress and take a part of, take a load off for yourself. So I'd really recommend like taking a picture of these that way you can reference them later if you're stressed you're not trying to like file through and find this workshop you'll just have that picture to reference and be able to use these to manage your stress and even if you haven't done uh, any of those before too it might be nice to just you know try something new um, on that list and then we've also linked some meditations here um UNR uh, has a virtual relaxation room that we like have linked and they have different breathing exercises and different music styles to listen to for stress relief. And then UCLA has a lot of really good meditations on their website. So these are the links that are, you know, right here. And then we also created a Spotify playlist, um, a Spotify upper bound uh, stress playlist. So please feel free to um, screenshot the link or whatever you want to do and use that playlist to listen to music, add that playlist. You, we cannot add any explicit music, um, but we're hoping to just grow that and have a lot of people add to it. So it can be a way to not only find new music, but to find a way to de-stress while you're going through things. And a lot of kids have already added to it and it's a pretty, it's pretty good playlist now so far. So yes. So different ways of responding to stress. Um, the first one is learning to say no. I feel like as students, as high school, most of you guys, um, there's a lot of obligations you have. And sometimes it's hard to look at that and say, okay, no, I'm not gonna add another thing to my plate. So that's one thing, setting stronger boundaries for yourself and just um, understanding the commitments you're making and like whether or not you'll actually be able to handle them on your current plate. Um, support systems, family, friends, it's always really nice to have uh, strong groups that you can confide in when you are having a bad moment. Um, so yes, that's a good one as well. And then self-care, uh, we're taught to think that self-care is a, like has to be a long, like, oh, massage, da, da, da. but um, self-care is really like any action you take with the intention of um, treating yourself. So it could be as simple as brushing your teeth or washing your face. When you're doing those things anyways, 
if you set the intention, like I'm doing this because I'm taking care of myself, that's a really good way of looking at it. Um, so yeah, the conclusion is just stress can be very hard, but it can be managed. Everybody in the world feels stressed. So do not ever feel sh ashamed or embarrassed. You, There's other people feeling stressed. I'm feeling stressed right now. So it's just like, there's always stress going on. So don't ever feel embarrassed or ashamed. Don't ever feel afraid to ask for help, either for myself or Isabella, or one of the other Upward Bound staff, if you're having a stress that you don't know if you can deal with. And just most importantly, you got this. Isabella, did you have anything else to add? And also you guys have your counselors too. They're a really good source. If you also wanna go over some of your scholastic obligations and stuff like that, like they're absolutely really great to go to as well. So yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching our video. Um, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great day.